right now. So I'm just gonna um, invite him on. And now my phone is flashing up saying the internet connection is bad. So bear, bear with me. I'm gonna try and get Clint on. Clint, it might say, it might show I'm inviting you. Um, so Clint Osborne from Mevagissi, a lovely part of the world in Cornwall. That's where he is right now, and we're gonna we're gonna get him. And here he is, Clint Osborne, the bionic boxing barber. How are you doing? Oh, just yeah, yeah, relaxing. How are you, mate? I'm all right. I'll just talk. I'll just waffling there. You might I don't know if you heard, but I was just saying I was doing a live video, and and during it, you you messaged me, and I know I messaged you this morning because we've sort of lost a bit of contact, haven't we? You know, I when you box on my show earlier this year we was in touch an awful lot and and i went life takes over doesn't it you know we've got even busy down there in Mavagesi, and you've got big plans and you've just told me you've got some news exclusive news which i don't even know about and, and i don't think many people know but you said let's get on a video and you want to share some news what's the yeah well news it, it's funny because you know in this game to get to get to where you want to be you've got to be like marmite and you've got to have lovers and you've got to have haters and i've had loads of lovers and i've got loads of haters Same. and yeah. yeah it's gone well for me it's gone well because you know i mean there's there's people out there and, I, and i'm in their heads you know um some people support a journey that you go on uh, they've seen you at rock bottom and then they've seen you try and make something of yourself. People like a story. Um, some other people want to be like you and because they can't, they they follow your journey or they hate you. They think they hate you, but they don't. They just fucking love you, really. So let them crack on. And yeah, um, I'm still punching. I've, I've had a bit of time off since the till and five. Yeah. Uh, getting fat with the kids, having a good life, uh, living the dream in here in Cornwall, Mevagissi, and um, I've been chasing chasing the spank the yank. Yes. Uh, yes. Everybody shouting, you won't get on misfits, you won't get on yes. misfits. And and obviously the reality of it is, and you know the game more than most, Rich, it's it's very difficult to 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 go, you know, that far. You need a lot of you need to be an influencer. Yeah. You need to be a you know a larger than life character. And you know you You've got to dream big and you know it's very difficult to hit the heights that you really want to sometimes just 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 before you get to this news because i am excited to hear what it is and i know i want to just rewind a bit for when you boxed um on my show because i'll tell you what why when i sh i just did five minutes ago i shared a post saying that i'm going to go live with you and one man made a comment and you know who this man is right well i, I clicked I clicked on and I couldn't ah. see because obviously I've blocked him. Yeah, I'm guessing okay. it's Jason okay. So yeah, exactly. So <laughs> it's, it, it's interesting. So I don't think he's a big, big fan of yours, um, and I know you're not a big fan of his. But I wanted to, the reason it got you to that tin and fight was the fight with Jason Nichols. You went in, you beat him, and you beat him. You stopped him, and then you then went in for that title shot with with Jason. Yeah, Jason Tillman. This is by the way. Unfortunately, didn't didn't go your way, and then obviously you got. You, I know you've had these aspirations to go on on Misfits, and it's been very well documented. And I was, I remember saying to you, Clint, that's that's a big big event. That's that is like huge, you know. Um, but you've kept that going, kept that going, and um, and and I know you've got that in you. You're not going to stop until you're probably on Misfits. Um, so this news. Obviously, you're going to say, I imagine it's something connected. Obviously, it's clearly you're having a fight because I've seen your, 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 you're going to have a, another fight, which I fully support. So what, what is this news? Well, I've, I've got myself, you know, on the 1st of August, I've given myself a 14-week camp, and I'll need that. As people probably know out there, I'm knocking on a little bit. I'm no spring chicken anymore. I'm going to get some Botox next week, try and make myself look a bit better. Um Back to Jason Nichols. Jason, yeah. you're watching this. Absolutely love you hating me, mate. You gave <laughs> me the best night in a boxing ring. You stuck me on my arse with everything you got. And I got back up. And in the second round, I gave you hell. And I didn't know I had that in me. And you've made me a better man for knowing that about myself. So, Jason Nichols, mwah, love you, mate. Thank you so much. <laughs>
Listen, that's what uh, boxing's about. Like, I, when I said he's not a bit, I'm sure he is. Under the, he, he means all right. He's just, you know, Jason's Jason. We're all different. We're all wired up differently, aren't we? And we all have our own opinions. We all have our own journeys and our own stories. And that's it. And I, I'm not going to sit here and say anything about anyone. You know, you know what you want to achieve is, is absolutely amazing. Yeah. And whatever Jason wants to do, uh, that's that's great, you know. I support anyone. Um, but Clint, coming on to you I, again. What's the big news? Well, I, I was just going to. I'm going to quickly hold on before I say. Okay. But, uh, I, I just want to give a massive shout out to the new key bomb because yeah. you know Brad, Brad Paul's becoming British champion at the second time of asking yeah. and jumping back in the ring with Heaney after such a close contest with the draw the first time, and you know just like. I thought Jason Nichols, um, you know, he jumped back in the ring with Heaney. And when you know you've got somebody's number, you've got their number. And I would fight Jason Nichols every night of the week, twice on a Sunday, and I'd beat the guy because I've got his number. Yeah. And Brad Pauls jumped in the ring for that second shot at the British title there. And he had his number. And it was a great carry-on from the first contest. And he put him down in the middle of the fight and then stopped him in the 12th. And... It's the first time we've had a champion uh, in Cornwall since 1939. And watching Amazing. that live the other night yeah. really inspired me to keep punching and keep pushing forward. And, and from that, seeing Brad and, you know, looking back at when I set about Nichols and sorted him out, um, I've, I've, I'm going to have another fight. So I'm fighting in London. I'm headlining wow. the show on a DKM Plus show wow. at the Prism Nightclub in London. And I'll be fighting uh, Derek Diablo, the self-styled hooligan from Miami. He, he, he you know, uh, you didn't hang on for his fight because it was quite late. Yes. It's all right saying you're going to headline a show, but unfortunately, it's way past my bedtime. So yeah. when you stick me in the middle of the card, it's quite nice. But I shall, uh, I shall be trying to stay awake so I can fight Derek Diablo on the 16th of November in London. So. You know, well, do you know what? That yeah. is amazing because I I need to catch up because I was at that last show. I didn't see that fight, as you know. I, I left early, and I know there's that history with you and that chap. Um, that's amazing. That's amazing news, and yeah. um, I, hopefully that will be a good springboard for you to get where you want to get to. Because I know Danny, he's got a lot of those influences on his show, hasn't he? That are part of Misfits, and cool. so if anyone's going to get you on there, it'd be him. It'd be that show, and that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely going to be there. Because so, I tell you, the day before, I've got a little show in Super Marine. So that works perfect. I can okay. deliver my little show and I can come up and I'm going to stay the night and I'm going to have a good night out in Kingston, I think. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. I, I'm so looking forward to it. If, you know, I mean, everybody knows my journey. I'm, I'm from the mean streets of Mevagissi via Leicester. I'm off yeah. of a state in Leicester. I lost everything six years ago and I've been rebuilding and I've been very vocal about my journey and with man down and the support of other guys like yourself around me, Rich, I've been managing to, to keep punching. And if you're not fighting, you, you know, you, you, you're in the queue for dying and, and that's not me. And, you know, I, I've set about this to show everyone that you can keep going when you've had complete darkness you can get something out of life and you know i i've you know I've, I've struggled through life i'm i'm knocking on a bit now i've been my own worst enemy at times i am what i am but, but i want to show my kids that dad kept going and i've started to become proud of me and when i look in the mirror i like me and you know i'm really really want to keep going and on the 16th of November, I'm going to jump in the ring with Derek Diablo. He had his first out in the other day. I looked at it. I straight I'm not away. watched it. I've not watched it. I'll have to okay. look at it. Well, I saw yeah. it. I got straight in touch with Steve Walsh, who's, who's now bought into DKM Plush. And I said, Steve, you know, let's, let's get this guy. I'll, I'll, fight him. I'll fight him outside on the bloody car park. Let's have it. And me and Derek, we, we had a bit of a friendship going to start with. He was struggling with addiction, drink drugs coming over here. 
trying to kickstart something on Misfits. And I bought into that, talking to him. Uh, I didn't dislike the guy. And, you know, we tried to sell a fight together. And, um, you know, it, I wanted it on Misfits. Everybody knew that. Um, I reached out to him and I said, look, if you're struggling, I'll bung you 100 quid a week just to help you with food while you're over here. You know, let, let's look after you. Let's make sure you're Derek Diablo and you keep going. He had this fight on the 21st. He got in touch with me two weeks before. Clint, will you fight me? I said, no, too fat, can't do it. I need a good camp, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Screenshotted my message to him, called me a shit house, and a, and a blah, 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 and I wouldn't fight him. And I'm thinking, Derek, what a knob. Yeah. You know? So I've just completely blocked the guy on all the social media. And when I saw him fight, I don't want to fight an unknown quantity. It might have been Rocky Balboa, you know? So I saw him fight and, you know, I, I think I'm going to be too much for him. The engine's going to be too good. The heart's going to be too good. And I'm going to be all over him like a rash. So uh, Troy says, I've got to get down to Ronin Boxing Club and learn to protect myself a bit more. Yeah. A few of the other guys around me, have, a few of them have said, you'll be okay. But Troy's the one that talks the talk. And he says, if you jump in the ring with him tomorrow, you'll get hurt. If you yep. come down and we do a lot of sparring two or three times a week, there's a good chance you could pull it off. So I've not got yes man around me. I've got real people around me. And you've seen me fight. When you see him fight, you know, uh, I think we're made, made in yep. heaven for each other because we're the same size. And, you know, he's going to get fucking knocked out. I'm, I'm up for this because he chats shit. He's going to get banged. And he's got under my skin. And Jason Nichols will tell you, when people get under my skin, they stay kissing canvas. And that's what we're about. And I think, I think this is what you, you need. If it's someone's like, you know, like that, it's gonna, that's great motivation, isn't it, I guess, for yeah. you to get in the gym. I know you do a lot of work outside the gym as well, you know, with, the, with your beach training. You know, you're, you're, you're running down, down by the harbour side there. And I know you do put a lot of effort into your, your camp. And... Uh, uh, I wish you all the best for that, Clint. I'll tell you what, and I know some of our friends are going to be coming to see you. Tom Barkham, I think. Is he coming down to Mavigasi to see you soon? Yeah, I'm just getting the rooms ready for oh, him, yeah. actually. I think yeah. he's, he's bringing Arthur Swindon with him. So I've got, I've got right. a fair few guest bedrooms that want redoing. So, yeah, uh, it, it'll be ready for him. I think he's down next week and we'll have some fun with him. What a lovely guy. Yeah, he's a top, he's a top man. And um. I'll uh, I'll be seeing him on Saturday because it's uh, I'm having my friend Danny Humphries of a show um, in Didcot, and I'll see our friend Steve Murrow's got a show at the Mecca. Uh, yeah. And actually, your friend is boxing on my show on the 28th of September. Yeah, John Upton. Um, wow. Yeah. So go on. You know, the, well, the positivity if you if you preach it and you walk the walk, you know, it inspires other human beings, and and John's one of them. You know, he's. Clint, you've inspired me. I'm going to do it. I said, mate, you're the one who's getting out of bed and making it work. You're the one that's doing it. So yeah. he's doing it for a good yeah. cause, I believe. Yes. He's trying yeah. to raise money for uh, a, a friend's uh, child. That's and um, it's that's quite poignant. Yeah, it's quite poignant to him. So um, fair play to him. I, I would love to be there for that. Um, well, listen, you, you know, you know that you are always a guest. You're more than welcome. But. I know you probably want to come as a Barnet Box and Barber and bring the crew down, don't you? You know, but uh, we're, we're talk offline uh, yeah. about that. And, but, yeah. um, mate, this is great. It's, listen, first, it's great to talk to you. Yeah. I, I know we've not been as in touch as we used to be, mm. um, but I'm certainly going to be following your journey, you know, for this in November. Yeah. And it's ain't going to be the last. I'm sure we're going to hear a lot about this uh, most days because I know you love it. You love it more than me promoting. Well, you you gave me a chance. We 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 met during the time I was putting the Mavagissi show together. So many guys have springboarded from that and gone out and done their different things, and they've become men in the community through boxing. And and I know what that you know what what putting a show on can do to men. You put them on regular basis, and you know I think if you took stock and looked around you. Uh, Rich, you know, you've inspired so many people to keep going in their life and give them a life. You know, you've you've helped give me the bionic boxing barber, and I I really feel bionic when I get in that ring. When I when I walked out in my last fight against Tillen, challenging for a 
tank promotion uh, lightweight belts, uh, masters lightweight belts in front of, you know, probably over a thousand people there, the Mecca ballroom that night. And I walked out with Tom Barkham, with my entourage, with my crew, and the atmosphere hit me. And, you know, to feel that at my age and have that chance to experience it is on a different scale to anything you can, you can find in your day-to-day -day life. And you give that to people like, like John Upton, like a lot of the women you, you get in now into the shows. And, you know, you should be very proud of what you do, Rich, because, you know, men have become, you know, real men that can help inspire other men and lift other men because of you, Rich. And I'm so thankful for giving me that chance because, you know, I, I feel so strong and I feel a good dad to me kids. I feel, you know, uh, a, a better bloke in the workplace. Uh, you know, I, I really know what I'm talking about with different issues. And, you know, people see a, a man of strength and, um, you know, they get inspired by me. But it did not used to be like that. Um, but today, I'm coming back. Right, I love it. That's great news, Clint. You know, you got me welling up then. I remember we had um, an interview and I think I was getting a bit emotional when you when you were speaking to me one time, and I had to walk off, but, mate, listen, I, I thank you anyway for being part of, of my events, and I'm so happy we've, we've connected through boxing, and um, I, wish you, I wish you nothing but success, and, and I will see you again, and, and um, we, will, we will see each other in person. And, and thanks for sharing this news, because um, you need to do a nice post now and just tell your other friends about what you've just told me, because it's... Yeah. You know, uh, that, that, that event in November will be off the scale because Danny does put on a, yeah. you know, he's, he's, we're not talking about locally, he's like, the, I think nationally, he's the man, yeah. Danny McLaren. Um, no, to, to, be, to be headlining the show, yeah. I just, I find it funny, I find it amazing. I find it's amazing, it, it's not funny, yeah. it's not funny, it's amazing. And, um, well, you know, little old me, you know, I would... You know, I couldn't walk because I needed two hip replacements not too long ago. And I, I couldn't lift my arm up yeah. because I needed rotator cuff surgery. And, you know, I, I split up with my wife and didn't see my kids for a long time, six years ago. And I, and I lost everything. And I was my own worst enemy with alcohol. And, you know, five years sober, you, you can rebuild. You can have a completely different life to the one you think you may be stuck in right now. Anybody watching this, if you feel like you're stuck or you're in a situation you want to get out of, you can make a change and you can you can get out of it and you can have a completely different life in a completely different solar system, thousands of miles away from what you were before. So, you know, you've got to keep punching. That's all you've got to do. Clint, listen, um, you've made my day now, you know, just talking to you. Um, thank you for your time, Clint. And, um, I look forward to speaking to you on the phone. We'll chat. We're chatting the week, and um, I want to come to Mother Um yeah. I want to come well, back. Last time I got COVID when I came down well, there because, last time. Because you said it. Because you said it correctly. You can come now. Yes, all right. Brilliant, mate. Listen, Clint. As always, okay. you okay. keep punching, and um, um, and I'll see you soon. All right. Uh, love you, my friend. Love you too, mate. Take see care. You. Bye bye. See you later. Bye bye. Bye. Well. That was, so there you go, Clint, uh, Clint Osborne. I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, it's great to have him on. Um, yeah, it's great to have him on. And uh, I don't know what's going on here. Sorry.